Hello friends and welcome to the channel. I'm Dr. Mohsen Raj Mantu. I'm a DM cardiology student at Ames New Delhi. And uh, with this video, I want to interact with uh, some of you who are either studying in class 11th, 12th or maybe they're MBBS students already. And uh, somehow, somewhere in your mind, you wish to study at Ames New Delhi. I know it's a dream of almost every medical aspirant to study at Ames New Delhi. So the first thing I want uh, to tell you is why do I think why only you know less than one percent of the people who qualify AIMS you know out of so many applicants at AIMS at the NEET UG level or then subsequently at the INICT level AIMS generally accepts you know less than one percent of its applicants because of the limited number of seats of course so what do you think is different in those uh, in those in that bunch of students who are lucky enough to come to AIMS? Well, of course there are so many factors, but the number one factor that I think is responsible or is very important is the self belief, the trust in one's abilities. You know, let me tell you my own example. I wasn't a big fan of AIMS when I was in class 11, 12. In fact, I didn't even know about it that time. But once I was an MBBS, I was an MBBS student at GMC Srinagar. I, I happened to visit AIMS in my second year MBBS. And I was so fascinated by this institute that I made up my mind, you know, I am going to do my further education in this institute. Okay. When I went back home, my roommate, he was then preparing for postgraduate entrance. He was an intern. He was preparing for a postgraduate in, in, in postgraduate exam. And he is a brilliant student. He's now he has completed his DM in gastroenterology. I told him, hey, why don't you apply for this AIMS PG? That time it was not INIC, it was AIMS PG. He said, you know, it's not meant for us. It requires some extra coaching. It, some of the questions are from latest research papers. He tried to avoid my, my discussion. He did good in life. He's a wonderful gastroenterologist today. But I somehow, I continued on my journey. Next year, I asked one of my, another dear seniors, he has now again completed, he has completed his pediatrics and he's, uh, he's doing good. I asked him, he's, he was in fact one of the toppers of his batch. I said, why don't you apply for AIMS PG? And the answer I got was, uh, it's just a wastage of 1,000 rupees that the form costs. It's not meant for us. But I did not listen to anyone. In fact, my strength, my passion would be more after such encounters. See, if someone doubts your ability, it's a natural tendency to fall. But at the same time, it's an opportunity to do good. Okay. So... What I want you to remember is that belief and the trust you have in your abilities is number one thing. Because remember, no one will land in AIMS without having dreamed of it. If you don't dream to come here, I'm 100% sure you won't come here. Everyone who's at AIMS has at some point in time had this massive, this giant dream and then he has put in a massive effort that finally got his dream realized. That his dream came true. He, he landed in Ames. And so it's impossible for you to win this battle or to, re to reach to this place if you don't dream of it in the first place. Right. So number one thing, dream. Be a dreamer. Set giant goals. See, you can decide your target. You can choose your journey, but you cannot decide the final destination. That's up to the almighty. That's up to luck. That's up to so many things. But see, you can you have the right, you have the power to dream. You have the right, you have all the opportunity to work hard for this dream, right? So you have to make sure that you do those two things. Then rest is up to the, uh, you know, luck or the almighty where he finally lands you. But definitely if you work hard, you will land in some good place. The second reason why I believe dreaming and then working hard for that goal is important is this see if you are a class 11th class 12th student and encounter a, a very difficult problem maybe in physics maybe you're doing something in waves oscillations maybe you're doing something on the rotational mechanics and you're feeling a problem is very difficult 
So if you are a student who has never thought of being in the top ranks in the NEET UG, you've never dreamed of being in the top 100 who, who will come to Ames New Delhi. See, there will be a tendency that you will think, okay, this is a difficult problem, but this is maybe not designed for me. Maybe I will land up in an average place and without even solving this problem, without doing, giving, going so deep into the concept, so without practicing so much. On the other hand, if you have set a goal, if you have set a target, every day you will face difficulties but you will overcome those difficulties every moment you see a difficult physics problem difficult chemistry problem or maybe a difficult subject in your mbbs you will work and and, and somehow circumvent that obstacle somehow move forward move ahead and just bypassing and overcoming that obstacle that is very important and third I want you to remember that uh, the, the way it's, you know, it's a, I, probably a quote as well, that journey is more important than destination. See, if you work hard towards a goal and finally somehow, unfortunately, don't land there, I don't think you will regret that much as compared to a situation when you don't work, you waste your time, you play small and finally you land up in a, in a small place. See, by all respect, no place is small, but you have the right to dream big, achieve big, and that is up to you. You work hard, you put in your effort, then even if you don't land in your target place, even if you don't land in your target institute, target college, that's okay, you have put in your effort, you've done your best, and that is a happiness in itself. So with that, I close this video, and uh, I would encourage you to like, share, subscribe to the channel. Thank you.